What's going on, Paul? You know what? I'm really excited about this morning, quite frankly. I mean, you and I have been working on, on this mastermind group for a good while now. Yeah. Uh, and I know that you're passionate about it. I'm passionate about it. Uh, but I also know this is just the beginning, too. Yeah. So uh, I'm hoping that as you and I have a conversation together, uh, the folks out in the audience, wherever they might be, yep. will be able to pick up on it. Uh, so I'm excited about that. Yeah, absolutely. Me too. And you know, no matter where you're at in life right now, Paul's at a different stage in his life. Yes, I am. Uh, <laughs> I just turned 35. So, uh, you know, I'm starting to think more and more about making sure I'm living in my purpose. So I feel like each stage kind of brings a different aspect of your purpose. And now we're so excited to share with other people what we've learned along the way different stages and that's what we're here for yeah so. yeah that's great and and I'm gonna share I'll probably share some stories with you yeah uh, you know, you're 30 well, I, yeah, but I don't the problem <laughs> is at my age I don't remember them right <laughs> so uh, yeah we're in two different stages of life you're 35 years old I've got 35 years in each leg man. I mean, so uh, It'll be fun to get both perspectives from the, the two different generations. Welcome to our, our seminar on purpose. And uh, this is going to be a three week seminar where we discuss uh, just giving you a bird's eye view here, developing our purpose, uh, living our purpose and discovering our purpose. Not necessarily in that order. This morning we're going to talk about discovering our purpose. Um, but before we get into the topic, Josh, uh, I'd love for you to share a little bit about yourself and, and maybe what started this whole thing. What do you hope to accomplish with the seminar? That sort yeah, of thing. absolutely. <laughs> well, finding my purpose has been such an important part of my growth because that was the nucleus to really help me to know which direction to go. You know, there's so many options in this world. And so, <laughs> so finding that purpose for me, and it's been, you know, probably about an eight year journey for me to really dial it in. But uh, finding my purpose was so instrumental in my growth that now I wanna help other people find their purpose. So I do some coaching, both team coaching and individual coaching, helping people understand who they are at the core and what they were put on this planet to do. And that is why, why I exist, is yeah. to help others find that way and find uh, their, their potential in the earth, really. Unleash, unleash that potential inside of each human. So. Yeah, that's outstanding. How about you, Paul? <clears throat> well, and I'm kind of in the same boat. I mean, I'll just say, first of all, I can't think of a better purpose. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of great purposes in the world, but the fact that you've discovered yours, uh, especially at such a young age, and you've been heading toward that to me is really what it's all about. Yeah. So uh, yeah. <clears throat> hats off to you, sir. Yeah, thanks, Paul. And uh, some of us, it's taken a little longer <laughs> to figure out than, than others have. Uh, but I've been in the same boat. I mean, I know what my purpose is. I know what it's been for a long time, building the skills over the years so that, uh, that I could be useful. I, yeah. I mean, my own personal mission statement is influencing people to become the best version of themselves. Uh, and and now that I'm at the age I'm at, I'm, you know, I'm finally realizing I'm at a point where I finally know what I'm talking about, right? And I've got some experience under my belt. So uh, it, it's been great for me to develop those skills and actually work in the area that, of purpose that I was designed to be in. Yeah. It's a great feeling. It's been a lifelong journey for you, really, Paul. And yeah. now you're at a point where you have a lot of experience to uh, bring to the table and teach others. Yeah. And, and you know the beauty part about that for me is is the purpose stays the same but how it presents itself yeah. changes from day to day Makes so sense. yeah so for example I can use I can use my, my purpose in the classroom yeah. I can use it for seminars I can use it one-on-one -on -one in mm -hmm. groups uh, <clears throat> excuse me and uh, it really doesn't matter yeah. but but that purpose is always the same even though the process may be slightly different yeah uh, and, and that's good so it's it's a fluid process which is great yeah absolutely yeah. Paul why is it important for us to discover our purpose why is that so vital for everyone out there <laughs> well uh, all right so so this morning we're going to be talking about beginning to work on discovering our purpose and then intentionally living that day to day. 
I've often thought of the illustration of a ship without a rudder or, or a boat. I had an opportunity to be on the Colorado River one time okay. in, a, in a motor boat where the motor didn't start. Oh, and man. we're talking white water raft rapids going the wrong direction from the way we wanted to go. <laughs> Sounds like a disaster. <laughs> well, it could have been because right when you get into the water, there's a an old boat, a metal boat okay. sitting on the side of the river that's just mangled. That, that didn't have a rudder, didn't have a motor, didn't have anything to propel it forward, and it just smashed into the rocks and was destroyed. Well, okay, so our lives can be the same way. I think about it the same way where if I don't have a rudder, if I don't have a direction, if I don't have a purpose, I'm just at the mercy of life and wherever the winds or the river decides to take me. Yeah. Now, maybe I'm just a control freak or something, <laughs> but I just soon have a little bit more uh, say in the way this thing goes down and be proactive yeah. about it. Yeah, 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 it really gives you, it, it's like the heartbeat behind, and so many people question, what should I do with my life? What occupation should I have? All of these questions, and really at the core of that is your purpose. Because once you find yes. your purpose, you may not take that job that's right in your purpose wheelhouse at first, but at some point, you'll move towards that. Maybe that's starting a business, maybe that's changing jobs, maybe that's staying in the same job, but clarifying you know, your role. But it, it really is at the core of living a life that is valuable and really living out why you were put on this earth and purpose is really at the core. Yeah, and you know something else that's really important that uh, I'm just now, as we're sitting here talking, thinking about this, <clears throat> Fear is, is a major issue for, for many, many people, uh, self-included, okay? I have to wrestle with fear every day of my life. Uh, as I watch the people who are coaching me and, and the professional speakers and seminar deliverers, you hear their stories. Every one of them is insecure and is, and is racked with fears just, yeah. like, just like we are. Yeah. But they've learned how to utilize the fear to propel them forward. That's yeah. what I think the purpose is all about. Yeah. Purpose helps us to get past the fear mm -hmm. and do what what we were called to do. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's yeah. really good. John Maxwell, uh, famous author, good guy. I mean, he's he speaks a lot about purpose as well. Um, once said that, that that there's two great days in a person's life. Number one, the day that they're born, and we've all accomplished Check that. Check that right? off. Check yeah. that. Yeah, finally, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> one completed. Uh, but, but the second greatest day in a person's life is when they discover why. And, uh, and that's the truth. Now we've already, as I said, we've already accomplished the first day, our birth, but many people, at least people I've come in contact with, have never really had that second day. Mm -hmm. They really don't know or, or discover, why, why am I placed on this planet, man? Yeah. What, what am I doing here? Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I know what I want out of life, but what does life want from me? Yeah. And uh, so our goal for today is really simple, to help you to begin to find your purpose and intentionally live it out every day. And because uh, I'll speak to everybody out there, because you're here today, I'm believing that you're way above average people. Uh, perhaps you've already discovered your purpose. Uh, if so, you're one, you're going to be one of those few extraordinary people that have, but, but through these sessions, even if you have discovered your purpose, we want to continue the discussion about how to maximize it and live it out. And that kind of played out just in our conversation here, how it's amazing how things happen and, and all of a sudden something just unfolds. Uh, so it'll continue to develop. Now, perhaps you're here and have not discovered your purpose yet. Well, that's okay. You're in luck because uh, you know, you're here with, with some people who care about you and care that you develop this purpose. And we're gonna help and support you and encourage you as much as we can. And then second through this series, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a number of exercises. You'll be doing them at home. Uh, we'll, we'll put the exercises up both on the screen and in the, in the show notes. So you'll be able to have access to them. Uh, but through that, you're gonna do some exercises to help discover your purpose, uh, and, uh, w which will be great. The kicker though is, I'm pleading with you, take the time to do them. Uh, and then as Josh said, not only take the time to do them, maybe share that with, uh, with somebody that 
uh, that you've got a great relationship with or somebody that you really trust and they might be able to give you some additional insights even beyond uh, what you're coming up with on your own. Yeah. So, uh, 